Good morning. It is December 25th, 2021. The Eagles are gathering again. Before we read the letter from Brother Joseph Branham, I want to read you some excerpts from Brother Branham from his book, The Exposition of the Seven Church Ages. And he's talking about the subject of a servant. He that is greatest of all is servant to all. They who demand to be served, they who oppressed, they who sought to always be at the head, have gone down in shame. One day, in the judgment of the saints, we are going to hear him say, Well done, good and faithful servant. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. It is hard to be always a servant, but those who spend and are spent for others will one day be seated with him in his throne. Now we are going to hear from a servant of God, a true servant of God, ordained by God, named by an angel, spoken of before he was ever born. Brother Joseph Branham. Dear class, I would like to preach and teach you today by the way of my letter. Let us first review what we learned last Sunday. How do you catch a predestinated seed of God? Press play. What did Joshua tell his ministers to do? Go into Jericho, minister to the people by pressing play. And thy and thy house shall be saved. His messengers returned back and said, I have obeyed your orders. And there was a woman we found when we played the tapes. We are not ashamed. We don't care who sees it. We wanted everybody to see it and hear it. We have placed it in our homes, in our churches, everywhere we go. So everybody passing by will know that we are identified with our token. Jesus Christ, His Word. The Holy Spirit, the message of the hour, the tapes, the voice of God. We can see that the wrath is about ready to pass through the land and everything that is not under that token will perish. But when he sees that token, he will pass over us. It's God's requirement of the hour. The evening time message is to apply the token. How close did he tell us it would be, class? Just to say I believe it isn't enough. To walk around where it is at isn't enough. It makes you worse. I don't steal. I go to Branham Tabernacle. I believe the message. I believe every word you said, Brother Branham. Wow. That's good. That just means you're able to read. Don't just come this far and say, I believe the message. You obey the messenger. Come into Christ. Take the message. Take it into your heart that you must have the token, the very life that was in Christ be in you. When I see that, I will pass over you. What has God been telling his bride, message after message? The tapes, the tapes, the tapes. 
it's okay to preach the message and to teach the message, but you must play the message. How can anyone say they are in love with the message and not want to play the message before the people? They don't have the same love relationship I have with the message as I want everyone to come together and hear that vindicated by the pillar of fire voice. We have unmovable faith in his word. We are not Eve. We are not doubters or compromising with Satan. We hold to every word of God in the Bible and every word on tape. For the tapes are the very thoughts of God, spoken and revealed to his bride. And it needs no interpretation. It is the only place we know that we can say amen to every word. This message is fresh bread coming down from heaven for our journey. It is the bread of life, and every day we receive a freshness from Christ, from heaven, the Holy Spirit coming and filling our souls. We are sitting together with one objective, the Word of God, and we feed upon that Word. We are in God's spiritual Bethlehem, eating God's spiritual bread. And our souls are punctuating every word that he spoke with an amen. We are enjoying his heavenly angel food that has been stored up for us to feast upon. Come join us at his table and feast upon that heavenly angel food with us this Sunday at 10 a.m. Jeffersonville time. If you take people here listening to the tapes, I'd like for you to listen to that one, why Jesus had to come to Bethlehem. Why did he have to do it? Father has spoken to us through his prophet once again and invited all you tape people to come hear the message, Why Little Bethlehem, 63 one, two, one, four. My preaching and teaching is now over. Now let us press play, Brother Joseph Brannan. Until next time, God bless you, and join us together around the world to hear this spiritual food in due season. I pray that God will bless your hearts to take that stand for him and his in this day and display that token in your home. God bless you and shalom.